Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, lots of stuff has been going down in the Ghost Rider neighborhood. Kids have been getting beaten up. The Hurston School has been trashed. The team's been working on a talent show that will deal with how to stop the violence. And they're on the case, trying to find out who's behind all the vandalism at school. Here's what they know so far. There's a new kid named Victor Torres who used to be in a gang called the Thunderheads. Some kids think Victor's trashing the school because Thunderhead symbols were spray painted on school walls. And Ghost Rider sent the team a message with Victor's name in it. But Rob is Victor's friend and is sure he didn't do it. Victor left the gang because he was sick of the violence. His brother Quincy was shot and now he's in a wheelchair for life. Now, here's some new facts from the last show. First, Rob thinks Victor's being set up. Take another look at this note. What would the mighty Victor Torres do? It doesn't sound like Victor's talking. It sounds like someone wondering what Victor would do. Who? Cool. So the suspects are Walter Haynes. He's mad at Victor because they had a fight at school. That might be a reason for why to set Victor up. And Tony Boyd. The best runner on the track team? Why? Because he's not the best runner on the track team anymore. Victor is. And Tony hates me for it. And the Thunderheads. They're mad at Victor because he left their gang. Plus, the Thunderheads might have trashed Hurston just for fun. So, Rob goes looking for Victor to get more information about who might be framing him. Please find a place where there are lots of Thunderhead symbols and lots of Thunderheads. And Ghost Rider finds the Thunderhead hangout. 518 Huntley Street. Got it, Ghost Rider. Rob goes to the hangout, but Victor isn't there. Victor! It's Rob! Now, get a pencil in your casebook out and write down the clues, because things are really getting tense. Talking to you. Uh, I'm looking for Victor. Yeah, well, Victor ain't here. How'd you find his place anyway? Yo, man, what you trying to do? Bug us out? Now, I asked you how you found this place. Did Victor tell you? No. Well, who then? I. Huh? Uh, huh? Stop it, Miguel! Stop it! Yo, man, you want our turf, man, our turf. You know what that means? Yo, hold it. Stop it! 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 You ain't a Thunderhead no more. I was coming back. Why? To be with my friends. Yeah, yeah, we your friends, all right. It's true, man. But you can't be doing this to Rob. You know what this is, man. It's the way we protect ourselves, man. It's the way we keep people from messing with us. It's about respect. I'm sorry, Miguel. Look, I ain't talking to you. You know what the deal is. Victor, you gotta come back. Back to school, back to trash. Shut up, Bob, okay? Will you just shut up? Yo, man, so what you saying? You saying you back with us again? Is that what you saying, man? I can't do it, Miguel. I mean, it's not you, but... I can't hang here anymore. I thought maybe I could, but I just can't, man. Come on, Victor, man. What's up with you, bro? Why you want to be playing me like this, man? Man, you don't need that school, those dudes, man. It's us. Us homeboys. Here. Me. Nah, man. This is whack. Yo, man. You can't turn away from me like that, man. Not here. Let go of me, Miguel. Uh-uh. Because you were robbed now. All the way. <laughs> Do my levers, Miguel. Remember? From that time in the alley, remember? I pulled all those dudes off of you, man. And I helped you fight them off. And then we ran, man. We left them in the dust. 
So you owe me, bro. Let him go. We even have it, okay? That's all we are to each other. Nada más. I wish we could still be friends, Miguel. I wish that more than almost anything. Whoa, Victor. Thanks a lot. That was really close. That was also a really dumb move, man. And how'd you find this place anyway? Well, I just asked... I mean, quick. you don't know what you're messing with, man. You don't get it sometimes, you know that? What if I hadn't come along? What if I couldn't have gotten us out of that jam? What if I really didn't care about you at all? You were taking one big chance, man. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know that. Now. I guess I just wasn't thinking straight. I was looking for you. You okay? Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks for coming to look for me. You're welcome. Let's get out of here. So you think it could be Tony Boyd or Walter Haynes who's been setting me up? Yeah. Tony's real mad at you for replacing him as the best runner on the track team. And Walter. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I picked a fight with him in the hallway. Of course, it could be somebody else. Who? I don't know. But whoever it is, we gotta have some proof. Hey, wait a minute. You said your gold chain and your notebook were the only things missing from your gym bag, right? Yeah. Your gold chain was planted when the caftorium was trashed. Yeah. But your notebook is still missing. Which means the guy might still have it. But how does knowing that help? Well, do you remember the rap you wrote for your brother? Remember it? I know it by heart. Could you... Could you write down the first couple of lines for me? But why? It might bring me closer to whoever's setting you up. You gotta trust me on this one. I'll get some paint. Okay. I've got here the first few lines of the rap Victor wrote for his brother Quincy. Now, I think that if Ghost Rider can read Victor's rap and then what's near it, we might be able to find whoever stole the notebook. And that might be the same person who's been trashing the school. All right, let's do it. I'll write it. Please find... What's the name of Victor's rap? For Quincy. Please find for Quincy and read what's near it. Let's see our suspect list. So Victor Torres is definitely not a suspect anymore. So who's left? The Thunderheads, Walter Haynes, and Tony Boyd. The computer. cheese or tuna sandwich, salad, cookies, juice, or milk. Wait a minute. I had that for lunch today. It's Kirsten's school lunch menu for Friday. Yeah, Ghost Rider probably found Victor's notebook near a student who goes to Hurston. Eh, Thunderheads don't go to Hurston, so we can cross them off. Right.
There's more. Remain to save the face. Sincerely, Ms. Beatrice Kelly, principal. Hey, that's part of that notice that Ms. Kelly sent home. Kirsten again. Tony or Walter? Man, what are we gonna do now? Look! Glow more spray paint, TV, Kirsten trackers. Spray paint? Now there's a clue. Way to go, ghostwriter. Kirsten trackers, TB. Tony Boy. All the members of the track team have gym bags with Hurston trackers printed on them. And Tony has the initials TB on his. I know because I've seen it. All right, we got him. And that probably means that Victor's notebook and the Glowmore spray paint are in Tony's gym bag. But how do we prove that? It's about time you got around to interviewing me for your track article. But make it quick, I got practice. Yeah, yeah, just a few questions. Uh, first, is that can of uh, Glowmore spray paint still with Victor's notebook? Like in that gym bag, for instance. I don't know what you're talking about. And I don't want to be interviewed by you either. Mr. Ward. Tony? Are Victor's notebook and a can of spray paint in your gym bag? No, sir. You mind if I have a look? It's my gym bag, sir. But if you're, you're telling the truth, there's nothing for you to worry about, right? It's my gym bag, sir. Tony, you're a talented athlete. We've worked together for three years, and you've always been straight with me. Now tell me, are Victor's notebook and a can of spray paint in your gym bag? Yes, sir. Tony, I'm disappointed in you. It's one thing to work hard to win. It's quite another to steal from a fellow student and then vandalize the school to try to get him in trouble. I've been on the track team for three whole years now, and I've worked really hard. But this is my last year at Hurston. It's just not fair for Victor to just come in and take over just like that. Fair? You think it's been so easy for me? You think I haven't been busting a gut on the team? I mean, this is whack, man. I haven't done anything to you. I just want to be a part of the team, a part of the school. I'm sorry, Victor. Come on, Tony. You better call your parents. No sweat. That is not much. Come on. A community jam against violence. It looks great, Lenny. Yo, guys. What do you want, Walter? Well, I, uh... Look, man. I've been noticing all the work y'all been doing with the Star Jam. And we've been noticing how much you've been noticing. Well, anyway, I, I was wondering if y'all could, like, use another volunteer somewhere? Well, you know, I, I mean, is you know, I'm really good at sorting out stuff. You know, or I could hand out programs. Yeah, sure, Walter. I'm sure we can find something for you to do. In fact, you could come with me right now. I'm sure we got a lot of loose ends you can help me tie up. <laughs> so that's why he was hanging around here, acting all suspicious and stuff. Yeah. He wasn't trying to stick us. He was just trying to find a way to get back in with us. Mm. You know what that means? Yeah. Man. 
Man, it's too scary to write about. Hate, fear, hate, fear, hate. Shoving me, grabbing at me, twisting my arms. Hands becoming fists. Why would he hurt me just like that? Why would he hate? I want to shake hands. No. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to say. Now I can write about it. I only wanted to find my friend, but then these hands came, shoving me, grabbing me, twisting my arms, and then fists, wanting to hurt me. I don't like being hated. I don't like wanting to hate. I want to shake hands, not fight them. Better. Victor, how's it going, man? Great. I finished it. What? My rap to Quincy. Oh, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. I, I mean, it took some doing, but man, it sure felt good. It was like, like finishing a race, you know? You mean exploding your thoughts onto the page. Right. Rob, check out this poster. Hey, why don't you do your rap at the Star Jam? <sighs> no, man. Why not? Well, that's a whole other thing. I mean, getting up in front of people and stuff. You're in front of them when you race. But I'm not staring them in the face. Aren't raps meant to be performed? This one's personal. So change it a little. It could make a difference for people to hear what you know about violence. Uh, I don't know, bro. Come on, man. That's what your rap's about. People should hear it. to her 
Boston Schools Community Jam Against Violence. No more just getting up and walking to the door Things that used to be so easy can't happen anymore What was it for? What was it for? Yo, stop the violence, increase the peace Increase the peace Increase the peace Increase the peace gonna try to sing or dance or turn a crazy cartwheel or anything. In fact, the last time I was in a school show, I played a fluffy little rabbit in a cabbage patch. <laughs> Imagine that if you can. <laughs> no, seriously, I just wanted to say that for me, this community jam against violence is about building bridges. Neighbor to neighbor, race to race, block to block, from you to me to everybody. And it's also about caring. <laughs> we all come from different places and different backgrounds. And this jam proves we can come together in this school, in this community, and in this world. So <laughs> that's what I'm feeling tonight from my head to my heart. And congratulations. And I'm with you, behind you, for you, everything you, 1,000%. <laughs> Now let's sing it one more time. Don't judge me by my skin. Don't judge me by my name. Can't you see the mess we're in? On the street, there's too much pain. We're gonna sing about care. We're gonna sing about pride. People wearing it everywhere. So the soul inside my side. Sing about pride. Toe to toe, side by side. 
to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the Youth Department of Education. But you can't say it all in breath. I bet you can. Ghost Rider was originally produced for the Public Broadcasting Service. Read more about Ghost Rider and the Ghost Rider team in these Bantam books. To purchase Bantam books, video cassettes, or a teacher's guide for programs in this series, contact GPN, P.O. Box 80669, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68501, or call one 800 228 4630.